with selenium and what are the different different things that we can do with selenium so let's go to the computer Intelligent idea. This is one of the IDE. Uh, it's free. You can download and install it from its site. Simply type Intelligent idea, and you can download it from here. Download and install Intelligent idea, and then you open it. Now, actually, this is my previously created project, so it's looking like this. Now I'm creating a project, right? So project. Java. This IDE that is IntelliJ IDEA is mean for Java projects. Right? We are implementing Selenium with Java. So please do not get confused that Selenium is a tool and it should be installed somewhere and then we will use it. Selenium will be implemented in Java IDE only. You will understand as we will go further. I am creating a Java project. Say my Selenium. A project is open. Right. So here I am going to create two directories. One lib. I will clip all the library jar files here and then another directory drivers now go to your browser and go to the URL selenium hq dot org slash download here you will find java click here download these are the java based jar files so once it get downloaded you extract this zip file this folder is created uh, there are two jar files outside I will copy and paste it into lib and the other jar files inside this lib I will copy this and paste it into lib fine next driver in order to work with any particular browser we need a driver for that particular browser just scroll down on the same website you will see different different drivers for a different different browser I will prefer a chrome driver so click here so I have downloaded chrome driver as well right so uh, I'll extract it from the zip file and then copy and paste it into the drivers okay, okay. fine so my library contains all the selenium supported jar files and my driver directory contains chrome driver dot exe now our job is to set this library for this project so right click open module settings go to library plus java then select the library folder from this my selenium project ok 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 this process will go on once it is completed we are ready to implement the selenium so the process has been completed now let's create a program let's create a simple java program say my selenium program so we will start writing a program 
this is a class public static void main right this is how we write a java program say string args right so so i am going to write the code to open a browser right so it is a two line code say system dot set property the first parameter is what kind of driver you want to use so web driver dot chrome dot driver since we are using chrome driver and the next is the path of your the path of your driver so to get the path i'll right click on chrome driver dot exe i can copy path and copy relative path the copy path will copy the whole path right from c colon user project and all that so better i'll copy the relative path right so it comes like this now next i'll write web driver need to import the org.openqa.selenium.web driver web driver driver is equal to new chrome driver right again we need to import something for it like org.openqa.selenium.chrome.chrome driver right so these two lines will help me to open a browser so i'll run this program see the browser is opened but it is not maximized so let's maximize it so for that we will write driver dot manage dot window dot maximize let's run this program browser is open and it is maximized as well fine so let's open any url from there so for that driver dot get i'll open facebook dot com http colon double slash facebook dot com let's run this program see this url is opened right let's type something into this these two text boxes email and password so for that we need to find this element using some of its uh, html properties so i right click and said inspect element so now i am clicking on this arrow and let's go here here you can see that you have a name email right there are different locators to locate these web elements so i'll use name so i'll define this web element say web element txt say username is equal to driver dot find element by name so what is the name for this it is email
we need to import the web element org dot open qa dot and then this by as well right so these are the statements I have imported then in order to type inside this text box I will write txt user name dot send keys say some user name right similarly we will find password text box and here we have a name pass so wave element txt password is equal to driver dot find element by dot name and name is this and txt password dot send keys say some password right now the next thing is that I want to click on this login button web element btn login is equal to driver dot find elements by so I am using this xpath so what is xpath I have a separate tutorial on YouTube for this you can check that and understand the xpath then btn login dot click fine so it clicked on sign in as well so we can do many more things with selenium if you want to know about more things you can go to my website scriptinglogic.com here you will find all the tutorials in details right you will also find tutorials on java tutorials on software testings i also have youtube channel it is youtube.com slash amol uzagre here also you will get lots of tutorials on selenium manual testing and many motivational things in order to learn particularly any particular subject you can go to the playlist you can see the different different playlists created over here selenium manual testing and tutorials on all different subjects please subscribe to my channel to get the notification as and when i upload a new video so guys this was all about the software testing and automation implementation so if you just google you'll find that the, now there is huge requirement in selenium right so actually now is the time if you want to make your career Automation is quite a good option, but yes, you cannot go directly into the automation. You must learn manual testing, or you must work on manual testing first. Then only you will understand. Then only you will be implement the automation because automation will only let you make the things to do without actual human interaction. But in order to implement it, you must think about the scenarios. You must think about the different different test cases. Then only automation will help you. If you want. To learn Selenium or manual testing with me, I do conduct trainings on manual testing as well as automation testing at my place in Pune and Katras near Bharti Vidyapit. If you are not in Pune but still want to learn automation or Selenium with me, so I have online classes as well. For classroom training, you can call on this number, and if you are willing to take online trainings, you can register on this link. It is also given in the description and you will be notified as and when the next batch for online training for Selenium is scheduled.
So guys, uh, you can stay in touch with me on all my social other social channels as well. YouTube channel, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram. All the links are given in the description. I hope this webinar might have helped you in order to take a decision if you are willing to make a career in software testing. So, thank you very much.